You can't see it, but many of you feel it daily. Pollen causing a lot of headaches for allergy sufferers everywhere. And many of you are asking, why is it so bad in North Texas? Our chief meteorologist, Scott Patchett, looked into the reasons for you. Right about now, North Texas is blanketed by pollen. It's on cars, furniture, and just about everywhere in the air. And while many love the cool spring weather outside, South Lake resident Parul Kashik stays indoors. It's just how I enjoy my spring. Just, just looking at them from inside. Or I'll just go out for like two minutes or three minutes a day. It's not too windy. Because when she goes out, her allergies from pollen are relentless. It'll start with sneezing or itchy eyes, and um, then it just doesn't stop. If it's a major flare up, then you just can't breathe. Her allergies last year round. Every year we always hear, oh, this is the worst year ever. But actually, there's some truth in that. And she should know. Dr. Marie Fitzgerald runs North Texas's pollen collection and counting station. And I've gone back to look at prior years, and there has been somewhat of an increase over that time in higher pollen days. So, what's going on in North Texas? There's several reasons in this area. First of all, we have a nice warmer climate with a milder winter and so we have a longer pollen season than a lot of the parts of the United States. So that's one reason. But also with climate change we are seeing higher pollen levels as well uh, with longer pollen seasons. We actually have 10 months of the year that we will have high pollen levels. So from February to April it's tree pollen season. April, May and June brings out the grass pollen. Labor Day to Halloween it's weed pollen time. And then it's mountain cedar in the winter. So the only break we really get is from 4th of July till Labor Day, kind of those 100 degree days. We also live in a geographic area where the Blackland Prairie region meets cross timbers, right along where Dallas Tarrant meet Colin Denton. And that means that we get hit with a large variety of pollen allergies. Where you have the prairies, it's grass predominantly with trees scattered in there. And when you get into cross timbers, which is basically the mid cities area, uh, Dallas Tarrant County line, you get heavy tree populations. You get post oak, you get blackjack oak. Cordy Blevins is an urban forester at Texas A&M. We asked him about a theory all over TikTok claiming that the gender of the tree plays a role in allergies. The so-called botanical sexism theory was first floated by horticulturist Tom Ogren. The more female trees we have, the less pollen we'll have in the air. Always. No exceptions to that. So male trees make pollen. Lots of it. Female trees trap pollen and then create fruit. The theory goes allergies are high because landscapers choose to plant male trees for their flowers. Now, female trees create the fruit and litter, like you see here. These are berries under the juniper tree. Ogren argues planting non allergenic plants like the female trees could potentially reduce pollen. But Blevins is skeptical. If you look around this place, he's surrounded by other red cedar uh, and juniper trees. So if he lived in a bubble and removed those trees, yeah, he'd have less pollen. But with so many, so much out there in nature, I don't think it really makes any significant difference. And while the debate on botanical sexism rages on social media, there's agreement on what to do to reduce pollen and allergies. In general, planting allergy friendly trees can help. For example, insect pollinating plants are better than wind pollinators. Planting more monoecious trees that have both male and female parts are better and staying indoors on windy days. So, Scott Padgett, <laughs> the takeaway is we get a little bit smarter with what you just shared with us, but what's the, what's the bottom line advice for everybody who's struggling with all uh, Bottom line advice is there, there are certain times of the day which are better for you to be outside. It's not great, but the worst time, early mornings and afternoons. Better time is in the evenings. The best time for you if you suffer from pollen allergies is right after it rains. So, let it rain, walk outside, and you might be able to breathe a little bit easier, but then the rain's going to have more things bloom a little bit more for us, and that's what's happening this week. We're dealing with hickory, pecan, oak, and sycamore as the major allergens in the air. Medium high category today, dropping a bit for tomorrow. Wednesday back up in the medium high category, and then we have warmer temperatures. A southerly wind Thursday and Friday. That pollen is able to just hang out in the atmosphere a little bit more, and it's going to be back into the high category. So the